most of the people we're interested in here are uh, people that didn't have really much contact with the, <coughs> with the whites. They were a very retiring group of uh, Shoshonean peoples that uh, occupied this part of the country. And we think part of the big attraction here was mountain sheep. There were just mountain sheep all over this country. And these Shoshonians, sometimes referred to as sheep eaters, Scattered throughout the region, once roamed by both bighorn sheep and the sheep eater Indians, are the remains of wooden traps used for harvesting sheep. Anyhow, these people apparently worked out a very specialized system of uh, mountain sheep procurement. We're sitting right alongside of one of these, what we call mountain sheep traps. Very ingenious devices and they reflect just a real knowledge of uh, mountain sheep behavior. It required the effort of a lot of people. The first one I ever saw, and I didn't really know what it was at the time, and this was over in the Sunlight Basin. We looked at it and we couldn't figure out what in the world it was. It was just wouldn't, it, there was no evidence of any human habitation. It was built up of logs, <clears throat> and uh, it was long and it was narrow. It wasn't until I got over in this part of the country and looked at a similar one, and here was crows and drive lines connected and all of a sudden I said my god I know what that is over there it's a sheep trap these traps were designed with elaborate wooden fences known as drive lines which helped guide the sheep toward a hidden trap at the end of the v-shaped drive lines was a catch pen with a ramp leading up one side of the pen any sheep driven up this ramp would then fall into the wooden corral it's just an elegant, perfect plan because it uses the sheep's instincts as a uh, primary motivating force. People behind driving them that are predators, essentially, and so their instincts are to get away from the predators, follow the open ridge line. Cliff on the right, they don't want to go there. Trees on the left, that's where mountain lions and coyotes hang out and they get ambushed in that, so they don't go there. So they go up to the high point, which is where they want to go anyway. And then the fence curves them right down into a trap, which they can't see until the very last second. The total story is right here. I think it's what I would call the, the classic mountain sheep trap. And its location is perfect. It's really good sheep country. And it's the perfect intercept spot. Every one of these traps will do the same thing. You know, kind of catch the animals going upslope. And then when they move them into the catch pen, they'll move them down slope. They just found a big rock in just a good position. And they didn't have to build a ramp. They already had a natural ramp there. And I know if you've got a wall that's straight up, those sheep will go right out over the top of it. Not when they're leaning in. And I don't think these people were out here trapping big rams. I think they were after uh, nursery herds, ewes and lambs and, and in, immature animals. But still, you find these big ram skulls occasionally up in a tree, so I think they're kind of like modern hunters. I think they're a little bit of a trophy hunter in just about everybody. This is a pretty good sized one. We got about one, two, three, four meters across that way, and, and, and uh, then from front to back, it looks to be about maybe seven meters. So originally, you can see with all the collapsed stuff, so you'd have had a wall like that on the outside of this. These catch pens were typically made of fallen timbers with stones and soil covering the logs. While their configuration varied from site to site, many were long and narrow. And they have that, that ramp that came up over like this on the front here like that, so that now then the outer walls would have leaned in. So I'm told that a sheep can flat just jump straight up if it's a straight wall, but if it's leaning in, they don't like to jump they seem to avoid leaning in walls. They won't jump. But up. they jump straight up on, on vertical walls all the time. So the idea is to get them just milling around inside here. And they didn't shoot them with arrows. Uh, they, they would uh, reach over the top of the thing, be leaning over the top, and they'd hit them in the head with a club. And uh, the, some of the clubs have been found uh, at the traps. That's how we know this. And a little, so they're sort of, oh, like a short little baseball bat or a billy club. How do you hit a big horn in the head and do anything to it? And the fact is they're extremely vulnerable right behind the horns. And so you just reach in and, and bonk them in the head behind the horns. 